playing some on the ladder for you. We're playing with Evil Twin Sprite. I have an updated list. I took out one of each of the Evil Twins. Uh, it's not as consistent, so we'll be playing against Cash. <clears throat> or if you need to do it again on the on their third turn. Like let's say you go the fourth turn. There's not as power there and consistency, but I replaced them with a Appaloosa for going first and a Pit Knight. The Pit Knight can replace for a number two. I currently don't have enough death for, death for number two. I believe that's his name. Let me type in Mosquito. Let's see. Oh, so I see you. Right, two. You are. I misspelled it. This guy right here. You could also replace Soul Sweeper for him to keep the Pit Knight in there because get hands where you get Hero Kid. Now we're gonna slap. So you'll have the opportunity to set up. And then when you're going uh, second, Mosquito allows you to full burn them if they have a 2000 attack monster. Because every single time an attack happens, you get to detach and burn. For, uh, you don't get to detach, you just get the burn equal to that monster's attack. So it just keeps happening over and over again, so every single time you attack. So, it's something you can put in as an attack option. I just have the Pit Knight in there for the going first, if I have the chance to set it up. But let's get into these duels for you. Play a couple at gold three. I did have a match yesterday where my opponent drew a branded fusion and super heavy samurai and I lost because of it. <laughs> so let's hope that doesn't happen again. I was able to stop the original combo. I have my starter. I have Sunny Snitch to bait the Ash Blossom. I'm playing against Pearly. Unfortunately, let's see how many interruptions they can set up. And they added my friend. So. Do they have the pre -eep? Do they have straight street set up for the or draw combo? Not one of each. I'm gonna go last here. <clears throat> Hopefully, I give them straight street. These it looks like they're looking for a pearly quick play. Is memory at one? I can't remember. No one plays this deck anymore. I added them delicious memory. It is at one. They discard with the Maxia, they're gonna summon the Dark One. Lily. And this is gonna give them straight street. Oh, they're gonna go per E. So they get a one time interruption based on how they did that. And I have, unfortunately for them, I have Sprite Starter. Let's see what they do with Summer Snitch. And we have Cross here. 
because I blew it in. They must not know the monster is a bad frost, that means that blue. So let's switch for something pink. I could sprite star combo here. Uh, Pearly's, the Pearly deck doesn't run the Biru, so I can run the Sprite Starter combo. If they run the Biru, I'm blown out. I want to combo this way to force their interruption as quick as possible, because if I'm able to get in the carrot, let's get Bloom. Is let's say I grab a non jet target here. Let's say I get carrot, they're immediately gonna activate the effect. They're saving the card to be able to bounce. So the correct play off a of starter was to summon out carrot instead of using blue because I would have went blue off gigantic. So I misplayed. But this way also lets me get lets me get into us oh, smashers. So let's add smashers off the of joke. So whenever they do summon out the new R, I can just activate the new R effect. They, yeah, they surrendered because I was gonna grab Smashers and then force their new R to just be banished. Let's see if they had the new Biru and I was just being risky. What in the heck am I watching? I'm pretty sure they started with multiple bricks because this hand, this deck doesn't look very well tailored. Because you have all the all the bestial cards in this deck are bricks. You don't need them. Um, you can run the Sky Striker engine to substitute, but that's engine expensive. But that looks like the consistency hits really good. You can also run the Dark World for draw. To discard off the uh, pearly quick plays. But I don't even I don't know if he had them all in there. He did account. Well, it doesn't matter, we won that match. Even with my misplay with not summoning Carrot off starter. <clears throat> because the play was to summon Carrot off a starter instead of play. This is we gotta summon that off gigantic. So I have I have went first here and I've started with two maxi, a droll, and frost. So, what I want to do here is I want to set Frost and pass the turn. Unfortunately, we, we have all the starters and we didn't draw a single one. But we, so let's wait and see what our opponent does. Always Maxi in response because there's decks that don't care about Maxi. That's unfortunate. They drew a Dark Magic Circle. I guess. And then they're gonna have the Eternal Soul. So I don't want to draw them there. Miz is not gonna stop the combo. I gotta set the easel. So if they normal summon rod or they activate 
of Magician Soul, I'm going to maxi them in response to guarantee the draw. See right here? And this is gonna let them banish my my set card. So it looks like they didn't have a response into the maxi. I also have maxi for my own turn. So they get their special summon the Dark Magician and banish my Light Twin Frost, which is unfortunate because I wanted to draw off of it. I drew a starter, which is an amazing draw for me to get. So they did, they have the Chronicle. I'm gonna take 2,500 there. I have the Called by for the Dark Magician when they go to summon her off Esol. Is it hit me for 7,000 right now? Side your HF, that is another amazing draw. Now if I remember right, that says if you control a dark magician and girl. So they need to control both of them. So they don't control both. So let's see if they get greedy. Oh, I just lose. Unfortunate. Because I bricked. Or didn't get a single start. I didn't get a single starter. So let's just concede and go next. Yeah, that's just game. And another thing is if you don't want to brick as often or add more cards to start it because you have for starters you have every single life twin monster but frost so that's six uh and sunny snitch is a starter so you have nine of those starters plus you have two starters which will start a combo on its own which that is 11 so if you wanted to add another starter as a potential starter let's go to related you can add password and add it to your deck so that's another card you can use to start a combo it's just with most hands like if you draw a single level two like a hero kit plus a sprite then it becomes a two card combo instead of a one so it's not as consistent to go for but that is just unfortunate that i drew a droll two maxis uh, Frost. And they just happened to have a uh, 2 1. Uh, they started with that potentially a bomb hand. So we're going second here. So I have Droll to play. So I have my entire starter tune and my one card combo and. Lila. So my opponent is on flu. So Droll completely shuts down their deck. So we're going to take Eaglin here because he did not reveal Ravonian for Robina. I don't know why he didn't reveal Robina. Unless he's got it in hand. So let's add Droll. Because since he can't activate Eaglin or Robina now, that doesn't matter. He gets his two normal summons.
You banished Implin, so he gra added two kin to hand. That doesn't matter, I'm gonna get... In response, I should've activated the other droll. So we couldn't add it all. I'm trolling. Busy's gonna get map here, yep. I was overthinking it. I was thinking he already can't add. So he's gonna add. Show Toucan. Yep. So we got Toucan to add. And he banished Tree. So he can banish, uh. He was about activated the other troll. There. He wouldn't have been able to do any of this. At least he wouldn't have had him out. Oh. Tribute for E pin. Back. Did he add with a um, impin? So I started with sprite smashers, but not a single sprite card. No, he didn't. No, that means he just had, had trap in hand, and he's only got one trap. If that's the case, so he just chose not to activate it. So let's activate. Lilo. So, if I would have drolled, he wouldn't be able to map, so I did a misplay there. And he has an imperm on my Leela, so because it's an imperm. Let's activate cross out. Maybe this is, will be something. Let's banish an intern. Even though I have frost in hand, I still want to make sure this effect goes through to make sure I have as many extenders as possible. Because uh, in pen negates attack position monsters so Rabina's gonna let, let him get Eaglin and he's gonna go and search Apex Avian so that's gonna be unfortunate so he's gonna normal summon Eaglin Taking a while to normal some Nikwa, and I tell you. So let's droll. Because now he's not gonna be able to add Mist Valley Apex Avian to him. This is also gonna screw me, but this is completely stop his combo. Got special summon frost in here. So I, the play here is to go into let's think about this. So I have a Zeus one, I have an activated starter, I have Smashers in hand. So I think the play is to go into Zeus.
Now let's do is just one here. Attack over the equal. No main phase two. And we'll summon Drowned. the turn here I have a four materials there so I can activate it twice so so if he goes to activate map I'm going to pop Zeus and I'm going to Zeus into response of equine if he does that combo too so there's two ways he can force my Zeus here. You can go in the battle phase, activate Impin's effect by banishing a monster, and then making it go, making my Zeus go half. So, so let's activate Zeus here. So this is gonna wipe the forward. I'll have my boss for when he adds, so I can banish it to draw a card. one back. He gets Robina back. He's gonna banish out. Go into Toucan. Add him pin. So, BC gets another normal summon. I just don't want to ask Blastus here because I want to wait until there's a choke point, like when he summons Iguan. So let's say he summons Equin off of the Toucan normal here. I'm going to activate Zeus, but he's going to go into Impin. He's going to add map. All this could have been avoided if I just double drilled him. I forget that's not a once per turn, so my brain just didn't allow it. So. So I did a huge misplay that could potentially lose me the game. This, the trap. So he's gonna add with Rubino, DD Chrome. So he's a normal summon Equin. So in response, Equin. I'm gonna activate Zeus. But he's still gonna be able to normal summon again. Which this is unfortunate. Because no matter w what he adds here. So, which all ones? He's summoned every single flute card so far, right? Yeah, he has. So, he has Apex, Avian, and the Trap. But he doesn't get another normal, he just gets the trap, unfortunately. So he gets to do this again next turn. And this would all have been avoided if I double drilled. So I have an Ash Blossom to stop his complete combo.
Fuck. So he has to activate the trap here. He's a banished infin. Mad Rubina bug. That's just unfortunate I didn't draw into my spread engine either. There's an Adduce token, add back infin. What can I go into here with? Nothing. Yeah, I just lose. Yeah, not durable drilling him. I can stop the play there, but he's just got too much. And I don't have any monster. I didn't have my spurt engine. So. So let's just give it to him. I lost another coin flip. I'm going second again. So, I have a singular draw here and an imperm to stop with my bonus to I a full combo in hand with Sprite Stardom. Not necessarily full combo, I don't have one of the live twins. Let's see what I'm playing against. So I'm playing against Ice Jade. So. Activate Troll. So he doesn't get into the field spell. I don't know what it's called. So he's gonna discard Crystal Shards. So, let's wait and see. So he, he gets a Baron here, or I have Infern, oh. Imperm on Gamer. So we'll have to wait and see how this works. So it does banish it, but its effects are negated. Okay, so I can win this turn. So let's see how my opponent deals with this because I have starter. Nope, what's he using? Bloom. Let's activate Bloom. Alright, so Joe. So, did they have a droll of their own? They have a droll of their own, okay. Let's 
go into gigantic. So let's activate Gigantic. We're just gonna play like th this is first turn. So we need to just start carrying. Just for some hero kid. Because it's not letting me banish. The monster busy can't be fulfilled. So it looks like it can't be destroyed by battle, so the only play I have is to IP it into into an O. The, the only potential out I see is the IP. It off of... That's a terrible zone for red, oh, unfortunate. So let's summon back Carrot. Let's IP using Chad and Red. Smashers and then turn. So So let's see what my opponent does here. So Let's activate Carrot. Should be an early. So. Let's activate Elf. Summon in red. Alright, there we go. We outed their boss monster. So, here, I'm gonna use Smashers instead. Been a starter. And let's activate, and we're gonna banish Carrot. It doesn't matter if I destroy it. I could have IP there, it'd be better use of my resources, but let's wait and see. My opponent has a deep sea diva. So So what can I summon off of? So I can just go into Jet here and
but he gets a tuner. Yeah, I just get an elf here. So I'm gonna activate red. So this card can't be destroyed, but. Yeah, going into Goddess there would have been the better play. That doesn't matter, it can't be destroyed because of, uh, whatchamacallit. So this puts us in the top deck mode. So if I'm able to draw any level 2, so that's full combo. If I'm able to draw a starter, that's full combo. If I draw a hand trap, that is not ideal, and let us max maxi, that is full combo. Use this a level 2. Actually, any level, any monster in general is full combo. I think my opponent will do Thunet Gord. Oh, let's wait and see what happens. I don't know why my opponent didn't assume I was going to tribute off their... Um, their Maliwhacker in the first place. Their Deep Sea Diva. So he gets a level 7 Synchro. No, he doesn't. I guess he doesn't have any level 7s. That is full combo. So let's special carrot. And let's go into Elf. Elf, a special jet. Let's add starter. Now my opponent surrendered. So it looks like the play was to do the sprite the the red line but that was really risky i needed to draw 20 out of my 30 cards left in deck so i could have potentially drew the the 30 the 30 percent i didn't want to draw so top deck in the carrot call me yugi bodo that's harder the cards but i'll see y'all next time